Are you ready for the heavyweight championship of the world? Are you ready? All right, and we're back. Welcome to another episode of In, In This Corner. Coming out the white corner, my name is Bill. I'm ready to fight. And coming out the black corner, my name is Barry, and I'm ready to fight. All right, I want a good, clean fight. Let's get it on. All right, welcome to End in This Corner, where we settle the score once and for all on who's the best. That includes best music, best shows, best movies, best anything, basically. And this week, what are we talking about, Bill? It's been a while, Barry. It's been a while. We talked about it. We finally got it. We got our verses. We finally find out who is uh, performing that night. Man, we got a good one. We got Omarion. Versus Mario, Mario versus Mario. That's the big card. Yeah, we got an undercard. undercard. We, got? we got an undercard. We got Pleasure P, and he's going to team with Sammy, and they're going to go up against Ray J and Bobby V. All right. Without any further ado, let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. All right, boom! Happy Juneteenth everybody so we finally found out what our juneteenth matchup is and it's basically like bill said it's a marion versus mario and the undercar so we're going to get a special event that night mm -hmm. it's going to be sammy teaming up with pleasure p and they'll yep. be going up against ray j and bobby v and bobby v there we go all right so now we're going to try to discuss both and i guess the first question that everybody wants to know bill do these matchups make sense and uh let's Talk about the main event first, uh, okay. Marion versus Mario. Does that make sense to you? Uh, I think, yes, it does. Mm. Same error. Um, obviously, I think, uh, not I think I know, uh, um, Mario has a little more music to pull from, obviously with the B2K era, but um, it does make sense. It does make sense. Same era, pretty much same age. Makes sense. Yeah, so what I looked at, I looked at basically their Hot 100 hits because that's a good indication of how popular these guys are. Um, just for singles, I'm not counting features. Uh, it's 11 to 7. So on paper, it looks like it doesn't match up, but I kind of piggybacked off of your thoughts, Bill, and I agreed. I said, uh, not including features, but um, when it comes to familiar music, mm -hmm. I think Omarion has twice as much familiar music if we're talking about just uh, single projects. Um, however, their styles, time frame in the game, similar fan bases, yeah. the matchup makes sense from that perspective. Mm -hmm. So now I guess uh, before we get into the advantages for these guys, you want to elaborate on the other um, undercard? Do you feel like those make sense to you? That was kind of weird when I when it first popped up because I just saw the four, you know, I saw the four names. And I saw a team, but I didn't put it together. So then once I studied the uh, the flyer that they put out a little uh, a little more and it said um, Pleasure P and Sammy. So I saw the and and over here it had and and they had the versus logo in the middle. So, you know, not, you know, put everything together, use uh, deductive reasoning and say, OK, they're going to do uh, like a little team battle. So, um, yeah, makes sense. Still the same thing. It's pretty much same errors for the most part. And um, some, uh, here's the thing. So this hot off the press. I was entertaining in-laws this uh, weekend. So Bill was kind of like my ears to the street. And I know when you sent me the flyer, I was equally confused. I thought mm -hmm. this was more of a, a Mario, Mario and friends type deal mm -hmm. to where I was like, I don't I don't understand the names on the bottom. How are they doing that? But mm -hmm. then you kind of explained to me that it'll be teams. So duos versus duos. Yep. Now, the names make sense. When you bring up time frames, don't forget Ray J been in this game for a minute, you know. So, um, so I don't know if the timelines match up perfectly. However, I think the four names make sense individually. Yep. But the way they grouped them, I would have did it a different way. I wouldn't have put Pleasure P with um, Sammy. Um, I do feel like they have, they got a lot of stuff they could pull from because of features and stuff like that. So. I, I would have probably mixed and matched it a little bit more to make it make more sense, but I'm not mad at it. It's I, a bonus. It's a bonus versus. So I think that's what they did because when you look at Bobby V, he's the more solo artist. Um, how can I say it? I think he had the most success as a solo artist, right? Total, like total success as a solo artist. Mm -hmm. 
if I think about Ray J, I literally think about three songs. And that's just to be honest. Mm-hmm. You know, I think about what, wait a minute, one wish, and uh what's the song he got with um Hitmaker? Um, I, I, oh, you to my uh, sexy can I? Sexy can I. Those yeah, are the see, three. I wasn't even thinking of that. All right, so yeah. now we getting we getting into the advantages. So okay, so s- stick you on the start s- here. We'll stay okay, we'll stick stay on here. the subject that you okay, are. Okay. And then, um all right, now refresh my memory when it comes to I remember Bobby V being I liked Bobby V, but I don't I don't remember him having like breakout songs where he was able to cross over like that or like he never really had a movement where everybody was listening to his album. I felt like he was still that first album, I think they were. I felt like I was in high school around the time. I remember um um mm-hmm. slow down, but mm-hmm. like when Pretty Ricky came out, everybody in their mama was listening to that. So that's yeah. an that's but that's why I said, but that's why I said solo artists. I know. All right. So here's I feel but, like but we haven't gotten to that side yet. That's why I know. I know where you're me, going. It mirrors up perfectly because that's an advantage. I do think you could look at it as an advantage or disadvantage, but Pleasure P is able to pull pretty Ricky and the Mavericks out of his bag. Some people will look at it. I look at it as an advantage. If you're going to go the key sweat route, it's like, hey, why are you not playing solo records? It's a disadvantage. But I think the fact that he's able to pull music from that first album with um, Pretty Ricky and them boys is going to give him more of a catalog to pull from. And then, um, but go that, ahead. I think that's why the matchups are the way they are because you can't put, there's no way you put Bobby V and Pleasure P together. Mm-hmm. No way. So that's why they had to separate. So you're agreeing, you're agreeing that maybe Bobby V is the, the, has the upper hand when it comes to him and the Ray J group. And, absolutely um, and absolutely it's saying, not even yeah and you're 100%. saying pleasure p has the upper hand when it comes to him and sammy group yes you're on the same page when it comes to that yes okay. absolutely because bobby v once you start talking about you know stuff he's done with Ludacris and mm-hmm. and and just just everything Lil Wayne. Lil, 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 yeah multiple yeah. Lil Wayne. that's why he he has he's he, he remember was, he's he got a song he go he could go pull from uh mister he got the blackberry molasses yeah yeah uh, yep. so I'm, he's, <laughs> I'm surprised still, you remember that what? no that that was my little album back in the day man yeah. they had the little bread jays i remember yep. that i remember everything but um sammy sammy uh, you know red like, light green light you know i like the, it, yeah, the crazy things i do for yeah. love He's gonna bring up the um the, the the song where he's in the rain. I just forgot. Oh that, no no up. that that's my song. That's yeah, my favorite yeah. Sammy I for, song. I forgot the name of it, but that's to me that's that's when he came back and he kind of like okay was, Sammy Sammy grown up now. Yes, he also yes. has mm-hmm. he has a hardball soundtrack where he could bring the Bow Wow. Bow Wow might make a couple of appearances that night. So when he plays the strike one, oh I got you out. So um he got some hits. Uh, <sighs> Does he? Does Bow Wow? Yeah, he may come out. I don't know. I no, yo, yeah, yeah, no, no. You know, I think he, he might come out, out. Uh, because of Marion. Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah, 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 I said he yeah, might yeah, yeah. make a couple of appearances yeah, tonight, that night. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, what's, right. what, God, what's that uh, Sammy song? And I love that song. Um, is it early Sammy or later Sammy? It's the it's the video, the one we was in the uh, uh, the rain. It's um, you don't have to say. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, what? No, no. That's, what? Yeah. What? <laughs> That is my <laughs> bro. That's my favorite song. Yeah, by come him. with me or something. I forgot. Come with me. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's it. That's yeah, it. See? That's it. I know the melody. I yeah. just can't really get the words together. But nah. Oh like, man, that, the production on that was nah. crazy. We talk man, about R and B a lot, and I think this these these guys represents that last wave of R and B that we got. So um, um let, ple- let's well, go. Well, well, pleasure P. Let's, yeah. let's, he, he you know he has his um. I mean, all, all of all of boyfriend the, number two. Yeah, got that era. Yeah, um, and, yeah. And we when we um all right, so let's let's jump into the main event, and then we're gonna talk about um what are uh advantages dis- advantages and disadvantages for those. Okay, guys. uh, obviously to me, the advantage goes to Omarion. Yeah, goes to Omarion. Yeah, B two K. It's it's I, the B two K factor. You could pull Period. that back. It's the yep. B2K. It's the mm-hmm. B2K factor. He also did an album with uh with um Bow Wow. Oh, Bow Wow. Yeah. Uh face off. Yep. And then you got Maybach O. <laughs> mm-hmm. So uh yeah, you got um you 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 
he has the advantage. Yeah. And not only that, he has my um he has my favorite song between the two. Which one? Let me hold you down. No, nah, Entourage. Oh, that's, okay. Um see, I like um Icebox where my heart used to be. That's yeah. gonna be my favorite record for the night. Um, no, that, that entourage. Yeah, that's my favorite it, it, it's one. It's a hit. Wondering if you, you what is my mean? entourage? Superfly. Super what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that check come this on. out. So I'm gonna be, I, I I'm gonna be in that dancing. Yeah, I, I mirrored some of your points. I put uh, okay. Mario has never been part of a group, so um, oh. if, if he's smart, he could pull that card. The same thing that um, Keith Sweat did with what he did to Bobby, which is. Why are you playing all these group records? Play some of your solo stuff. You I'm going to play my group stuff? records because I was lead. I was uh, a song lead. But but I understand that. I song I, lead. Yeah, and that's the that's the biggest difference. It's Bobby. You're you, you don't necessarily you can't pull from too much a new edition because Ralph is singing lead. That's so it. if Amarion is smart, that's going to be his rebuttal. But I definitely think the advantage is the fact that he's able to pull from that that, that B2K catalog. Yeah. Also, um, mm -hmm. Amarion is uh, featured or um on a lot of artists that are relevant today. So um, when you want to sway the crowd a little bit, it's like, hey, cause that's kind of what um, Soldier Boy was doing. It's like, I got a song with this person. I got a song with that person. Yeah, Marianne, yeah, yeah. He, he, Summer Walker, yeah. Wale, Usher, if he playing remixes and obviously Chris Brown, just to name a few, he's mm -hmm. featured on a lot of records with some important people. Yeah. So a clear advantage of Marianne, but we'll, this is why we watch the versus matchups to see how it goes. I would say- Biggest Mario song, has a loyal fan base. Biggest song, yeah. biggest the song, biggest song of Me the and night. We talked about this. We agree. It's and definitely it's, uh, Mario. Yep. You it's, should let me. Know. It, you should love it. Is that's the biggest song? It's that, when we say biggest, we're talking about chart guys. We're talking about just charting weeks. Number re one relevance mm. after the fact because I I do think this and that Fantasia song. You know, um, when I see you, when I see you, it's on every midday. At between 12 and three o'clock on the radio at least twice you know so it's it's gained a life of its own it was already big when it came out it but big, after the fact big. it's like a karaoke favorite it's it, i'd be remiss if i didn't admit that's going to be the biggest song played that mm -hmm. night so yeah i mean you know Just, he 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 does have some songs you know he got the you know the braid my hair and he mm -hmm. had you know so he he has some songs he got a song with gucci he does and i, um, I this is what i looked at i looked at mainly um you know Songs that charted on Hot 100. I, I, I left US R&B out, but I said off of the first album, you know, Mario had two songs. Um, off of the second album, two songs. Just Be yeah. Friends. Uh, I don't re um, I don't remember exactly which ones they were. I just I think at, I'm sure that's what it was. The Biz yeah. Marquee song, you know, the. Uh... No, that was off the first album. Yeah, that's what you said. Yeah, yeah. So first album, he had two. Second yeah, that's album, what I'm saying. He, he had two. Third album, he had two. And then. Um, off the fourth album, he had one song. So that's seven songs. And for Marianne, it kept going. It was like three songs, three songs off the first album, the B2K. Second uh, uh, second album, he had two songs. Mm -hmm. And in the uh, solo projects, first solo project, one of the songs charted for Hot 100. Mm -hmm. Second solo project, two of the songs charted. And then mm -hmm. he keeps going. Uh, third solo album, one, one of the songs. Fourth solo album, one of the song, and that's the biggest. That's his biggest song. And then and he, you um, know, the the Bow Wow face off. He had, a song, he had a song. That well, started, not even, not even. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. Let me hold you down. It was something else. But I'm saying that that song charted as well. That's what I'm saying. That's I'm not. A big, I'm not including. Big song. The, I'm not including the features. But oh, okay, will. okay, I see what you're saying. And um, man, I gotta go check because. He might even play if he want to. He could play feeling freaky. Like there's some nostalgic moments he could play where he's on the records with these people. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's I, we're gonna see a lot of cameos from his side as well. So yeah, we should see we should see cameos th throughout the whole night mm -hmm. because you know, um, I mean, B, uh, uh, Pretty Ricky could come through. B2K could come through for a couple. Uh, uh, Bow Wow's gonna come come through. Lil Wayne may slide. Ludacris mm -hmm. can slide through. So you, you know, depending on where they have it, does it say where they're having? LA, it it's in LA. It's in LA. Okay, you know, probably <laughs> make an appearance. So, uh, yeah, um, you got you 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 definitely have appearances all night. I think mm -hmm. I think we're gonna have an appearance all night. Yeah. Uh, uh, don't don't be surprised if we get a little Kim sighting. Don't be surprised if we get a Lil Wayne sighting. Like, yeah. um, uh, I I doubt. I doubt it, but we'll see. I just know he's he's on a couple of tracks that's going to be featured throughout. So 
Yeah. Now here's here's the big question: Who will win? Who we'll wins? start off with the main event and then the undercard. Who will win? Amarion versus Mario. Man, it's tough, but spin that spin around, Barry. I'm gonna go 55-45, Omarion. All right, I'm B2, going to, B2K, bro. It's just I'm going to agree with you. It's just my percentages are going to be a little bit more wide this time, and um. It's probably the biggest gap I've ever had, but it not to disrespect Mario, but I went 75 25 for this. At the end of the listen, at the end of the night, we're going to have more memorable moments from Amarion. So Amarion knows how to be relevant. He's he's gonna do that, he's gonna reenact the Amarion challenge, which is when he'd be doing that thing. He's gonna do that. He's gonna bring out Bow Wow and probably members of B2K. He's going to recite his unbothered quotes from Vlad that went viral. Amarion has had a spree of like viral sensations where he's not even trying to be viral, but stuff that he does on camera, it gets people talking. And I think when the night is said and done the next morning, we're going to be talking about his like, okay, he did this, he did that, he did that. I can't believe Amarion did the Amarion challenge, stuff like that. So I'd, that's, be, that's cool. I'd be more surprised if he doesn't win, which is why but- I... I'm, yeah. I'm putting my numbers further. That's cool, but dancing doesn't give you a don't win you around. Like the Mario Challenge doesn't win you around. That's cool. I, I feel you. But it, it's just it, like it's, it's like the Bow Wow situation. Bow Wow had a lot of memorable moments. So and it's lost. like it lost. Did we say he lost? We said that. You sure? Uh, if I'm not mistaken. I believe he lost. I think we need to go back to that episode because we, I think we, we can pull it up. We we penalized Soldier Boy for playing the same song over and over. Yeah, cool. It was. It was closer remember, than we thought. Yes, we penalized him because he played the song two, two or three times. Yeah. Yes. But that's fine. That's the way ball. I got to go back and check that. But we'll go back and check. Yeah, but my memory, like, but a Marion right. challenge doesn't give you a round yeah. because if we're going song for song, but are, are they playing? Songs. Are they playing 20 songs? Yeah, see that I, I don't know if they're doing that this round, which, they, is the re, which is the reason they bought in the uh the uh undercard. I, and I say I this. If and I say that change. if they keep it at ten, now we now it's my close. percentage has changed. I may yeah. go 50 50 They keep it. I at think 10. they're keeping it. It, it, it. They wouldn't go to ten. They would go to fifteen, maybe. Because, okay. Yeah. That's fine. That, I, there's no way that both are going to go to twenty. Yeah. So I'm. I thinking, mean, it's, it's possible, but it just it starts to lean more in favor of Amarion if they do that. But if they're starting, if they're starting at nine, right? Mm-hmm. They're not going to have a two twenty two twenty round battle. Oh, for I sure. just don't I, see it. I know they're cutting the fat off of the, the undercard. Like that's where they might only go to five songs. Who knows? I think <laughs> I think they go to I think it's 10 and 20. I think it's 10, 10 and 10 or 10 and 15. Uh, I don't see 10 and 15 20. and 10. 15 and 10, you mean, right? Well, 10 for the undercard. Yeah, they, yeah they're gonna go 10 rounds. Oh, 15, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you're putting it in order of a period. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah All right. Yeah. So uh, mm-hmm. with that being said, uh what, what's your percentage of the percentage look like for um the undercard 50 50 <laughs> it depends I, on who, because it depends on who you like who like, you like and it's if it's 10 songs because razor is going to win one with uh wait a minute i don't care what nobody say he's going to win that wait a minute now the thing i can say about ray j though ray j may steal the night he finds it it's not gonna have nothing to do with the music but he finds a way to be the center of attention. Ray J is relevant, man. Ray yes, keeps himself yeah, very relevant. He's going to find something to do to where yeah. it's like, <laughs> baby mama might come up on the stage like, where were you like Father's Day or something? He might, it's going to, he's going to do something comical like to it's, get it's the Ray crowd. J. Yeah. yeah, it's Ray J, so I don't, who knows? Mm-hmm. But um, I, 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 I do think that if they go 10 rounds, and I'm thinking they're going to go 10, it's, it, it's honestly going to be a blood, bloodbath because if you're talking about 10 from each side, mm-hmm. that's it's it's, it's going to be a lot of washes. Yeah, anytime you, washes. anytime you shorten the gap. Mm-hmm. I mean, you shorten the gap whenever you shorten the, you know, mm-hmm. um, amount of music. So yeah. if it's 10, a lot of these guys say what you say about any artist that you you like at least three songs from them. You know? Yeah. I mean? so, yeah. If you think about somebody like a <sighs> Who has a plethora? Lil, Lil Wayne, mm-hmm. right? Lil Wayne has hundreds of songs. But yep. if you tell him you only get 10. Yep. And you have to go it, up against, it's going to be. 
ties all all the way around because yeah. you're going up against other number one records for yeah, somebody. Yeah, else. absolutely. Yep. And so, I agree with you on that. Yeah. So you so. got 50 50 on the card. And then uh for the main event, 55 45. 45. 55. Right. Uh, no, 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 no. Sorry. Barry, you're gonna have to re spin it, spin it back. I want to go yeah. 60 40. 60 40. Bro, we're not as much it's as you want to say bro. what you would you not, we not that far off. I just went fit. It's a 15. Num- like you know what happened last years. time you did something like that. I know, but I, I'm <laughs> but nobody remembers because like we can't even remember what I said for the bow wow matchup. So I, I don't have to be a that one. I definitely remember what you said because you I'm gotta go back like, to it, man. You gotta bro, go back you said to it. 70 30. You said Bobby will be the 70 30. To my that um, to my soldier boy. No, Bobby and Keith. Oh, that one I was wrong on for sure. <laughs> like but this one, it's like I'd be surprised if Amarion doesn't walk out victorious, and I'd also I I'm not, I, I don't necessarily have a dog in the fight because yeah, I feel like for this undercard, because it's, it's groups, but at the end of the day, I'm just waiting for the records I like. So I don't really care yeah, 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 yeah. What's, yeah. what round they play them or what song goes up against what song. But I like, you know, there's a lot of R&B for a versus. So anytime R&B does a, uh, it's anytime versus does an R&B matchup, I'm already, you know, glued to my seat. Yeah, and these, this this is like mm-hmm. my high school era, so mm-hmm. I like the music. That's good. no, I think we're good, bro. We're we're definitely good. And uh, Thursday, we're ready, yep. guys. Um, I watch this one live. We'll bring, yeah, yeah, and we're gonna hey. we'll hey we'll have we'll have the preview out. Hey, but Bill, you've said enough. So have I. Like, how do how can we hear from the fans? Uh, if you've been watching us for a while, you already know what to do. Go to the comment section. What do we call it? We call it my two cents. Leave your comments. We're this is a preview, so let us know. Is it Omarion? Is it Mario? Or is it Team Pleasure P Sammy? Or is it Team um, Ray J and Bobby B? Leave yeah. your two cents. Yeah, and then, um, what's another way they could? Uh, what's a way they could show support, Bill? Show support. Please support us liking this video, leaving a comment, subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell so that when we upload any new content, you are instantly notified. Yeah, and check it out on the screen. You already know where to find us. Hit us up on social media. Like, hey, outside of that, guys, I mean, that's all that I got. Peace. One quick thing, guys, please, 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 please watch out for our content because we are about to go crazy. Listen. We are are about to go crazy. Interviews are coming. Mm -hmm. Hit that notification bell. Be ready. But as Barry stated, that's all I got. Peace.